Hello, welcome to Strong Flow Vinyasa. This will be a mixed level class today. We're gonna slow some of the things down um, that we normally do. Um, as always, um, the vinyasa portion is um, optional. So if that's not for you today, don't take it. Um, you see me with four blocks. You really only need one for sure. Um, towards the end, we'll do a restorative fridge. You can also use a blanket and fold that up if you do not have a block. And then the other blocks are just there in case you need them. I've got mine out for pyramid. Um, otherwise, you may not need a block for anything else today. We will also use a strap here in the beginning. So we're gonna start standing with that strap just around the neck, just for easy access. And then from here, when you're ready, just kind of coming up. And I'm reaching towards the ceiling. My shoulders are down, but I'm feeling lengthening through the side body, turning palms away and grow taller from crown to tail as you come down. We'll do that again. Palms turning up, inhale, reach, reach, reach and lengthen. Turning palms away, grow taller from crown to tail. Good, now just roll the shoulders back a few times. Good, knees are a little soft and unlocked here. And we'll take hands to prayer. Creating an intention for your practice. What would you like to give or receive? You can also dedicate this to someone or something. For me, it was that the roads were not bad this morning. So I was able to go and teach my in-person class. And then from here, once you're ready, inhale and reach, reach, reach. Turning palms away, grow taller and crown to tail. Good. Now. From here, let's just take that up again. We'll bend the knees. Hip knees and toes are tracking. Don't let them fall inward or outward. Pressing through hip and heel as you come up. And we'll take that down again. Moving with your breath. Find a breath pattern that feels good to you right now. So some people like to exhale on the lift. Some people like to inhale on the lift. You do you. Breathing is the most important thing. Good, and then we'll come all the way up. Good, let's take that strap and we're gonna thread that strap between the pointer and the thumb. And you want the strap to be taut here. So I don't want there to be slack and I'm a wider than the shoulder width apart. Now from here, um, watch your buckle. We're gonna take this up and we're gonna go into a little bit of a vitality wheel. So I'm gonna rotate here. I'm bending my knees as I come down. Moving through center, rolling up, coming all the way up. There's that buckle. I'm just going to fix that here. Folding that in half. Good. Folding that in half. Good. And then we will take that to the other side. Coming down. Good. Moving through center. Coming all the way up. And we'll go one more time through. Bending the knees, feeling the side body, feeling things start to open up a little bit here. Good. And then let's go back to the side that we started on. Do bend the knees as you come down. And coming up and back to center. Good. Now, you can keep this still folded here if that's where you need to be. I'm just going to kind of hold my buckle side here. I'm going to turn to the side. We're going to open the shoulders. So hips, knees, and toes are pointing forward in parallel. My knees are slightly bent. I don't want them to be locked out here. Good. And then we're just going to move forward and back. And try to keep the rib cage in as we move forward and back. Long arm. Take a wider grip if you need to. And then you can go to your range of motion. Your range of motion may not look like mine. You go and make yours look like yours. Arms are long here. So if you're bending your elbows as you're taking it back, take a wider grip. And then this next time when we come back, find your maximum stretch. So you did just see me take this all the way to my hips. So my maximum stretch right now is actually right about here. So everybody will have a little bit of a different spot. Breathing. And then we'll come up and come back to center. Good. So we'll take this into side bending. So my feet are still about hip width apart. I'm going to take this up. I'm going to side bend over to my left. I'm keeping my hips where they are. So I'm not taking them out. 
And then I'm really pulling on this bottom part here. And I'm really opening through that right side. Watch yourself here. Are you kind of popping that shoulder forward? And if you are, could you open up? Shoulders more in line with the hip. Breathe and expand. And then when you're ready, using your obliques, your side abs to bring you back up, we'll take that to the other side. Good. Again, hip stay stable. Maybe changing that grip. There we go. Breathing. When you're ready, I'm going to stay here a little bit more. This is my tighter side today. It's just feels so good. And when you're ready, we're going to come all the way up and we'll take that strap down. Time permitting, we may bring it back in towards the end, but for right now, we are done with it. So I'm going to move to the side and coming to the top of your mat. Good. Feet, let's keep the feet about hip width apart here. You can bring in blocks if you want them. Remember, you've got three heights in your block. You can always customize them. I'm going to inhale and reach. Exhale, I'm going to bend my knees as I come down to the blocks or to the floor. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Nice long back, longer legs. Exhale, bending the knees and come down. Pressing through the feet, engaging the glutes. Long back as we rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale and reach. Exhale, bending the knees as we come down. Maybe we can come a little bit deeper this time. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway, finding length in the spine. Exhale, little bow, bending the knees. Inhale, pressing through the hips and the feet as we come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Let's take this right into our sun salute here. Move these a little bit more forward. Good. Inhale, we're going to lift and reach. Exhale, and we'll fold. Bent knees or long legs. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Nice long back. Exhale, we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. So for this first one, I'm going to take my knees down, elbows forward. They're halfway down. Take it where you're going to take it. Strong through the shoulders. Finding your down dog. Now, this is your first down dog. So pressing in and forward into the hands. Rooting through the knuckles of pinky, corner and thumb. Elbows turn forward, shoulders away from the ears, ears by the biceps. Maybe legs are long. Maybe we need a little bend. Maybe it would feel good to walk the dog here for a moment. So finding what you need. And from downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that again. Inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. Finding breath. From here, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or half your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's add on to this one. Inhale, and we'll reach. Exhale, and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and we'll bow. Exhale, and we'll reach. Exhale, and we'll fold. Exhale, and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. I'm going to skip this one. And then from here, once you're ready, left leg is going to lift three point. Bend that knee. Open up to the left. Drawing even upper body. Head and neck are free. My gaze is to my right foot. And then from here, hip, knee, and toe are going to come back to center. If you can round the spine, round as you step or pick up and put your right foot forward between the hands. Make sure that foot's far enough forward so when you bend this knee, this knee is over or behind the ankle, not forward. I'm going to let that right knee come down. You can always cushion it here if you need to. You can bring your blocks in here if you need to. But find your length. And then you two staying here or rising up. 
maybe looking up for a little bit of a balance challenge. Inhale, exhale, taking that down. Right hand is to the floor to a block, finding length, opening up to the left. And we're gonna hold this one here for a moment. Breathing. And taking that left hand down. Left hand is to a block or to the floor on the outside of the left foot. Open to the right. Hold for a moment. Breathing. And when we're ready, we'll take that back down. Planting the hands, tucking the toes, lift the back knee, front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip a flow. From downward facing dog, right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee, opening up to the right, strong, even upper body, shoulders away from the ears, especially that right shoulder, looking towards that left foot. And then once you're ready, hip and knee are gonna come back even to the floor. Good, round as you step or pick up and put that right foot forward between the hands, far enough forward to when, when you bend that knee, knee is over behind the ankle. Left knee is going to come down. Good. Using blocks as needed. Finding your length. Good. Choosing to stay here or coming back up. Inhale. And then once you're ready, we'll come back down. Good. Left hand is on the block or to the floor on the inside of the left foot. Find your weight. Open to the right and pause. So this should feel a little bit different now than when we did it on the other side. Should feel a little bit more easeful. And then we'll take that down. Right hand's going to come to the block or to the floor on the outside of the right foot. Finding your weight. Opening to the left. This one might be just a little bit tighter. And, and taking that down. Good. Planting the hands, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee, front foot step back. Take or skip a flow. I'm going to skip this one and just hang out in my down dog. So remember your good down dog form, elbows turn forward, shoulders away from the ears, even pressure and big toe and pinky toe mounds of both feet. From your downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath. Mountain, your intention. All right, let's take this into a sun salute B. Let's just do a more traditional one. So um, if you're newer to yoga or have a back issue, I want you to follow me with the legs hip width apart. If you're not newer, um, and don't have any um, balance issues or back issues, you can step your feet and legs closer together and go that route. Otherwise, from here, let's take a big inhale and reach. Exhale, sit back into the chair. Good. So back is nice and long in the chair. Belly button is in. If your feet and legs are together, could you zip up and in through the midline? more inner thigh engagement. If you're like me and your hip with a part, could you kind of find an outer engagement like you're trying to rip the mat apart sideways? Breathing. Inhale. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. I'm going to personally skip this one. I do not take every flow that I cue. They're there for the people that like or want them. 
From downward facing dog, left leg's going to lift three point, bending that knee round as you step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Good. Again, make sure that foot is far enough forward. Rotating that back foot, hip, knee, and toe out a little bit. Come at 45 degrees. Another way to think about it is you're kind of pointing that toe more towards that front corner. And then from here, pressing strongly through the back leg, back edge of the foot, getting into the front heel. We'll rise, finding your warrior one. And that left hip's going to come back a little bit just so that the hips can square a little bit more towards the front. Good. Remembering it's more important for the back edge of the back foot to be grounded than for the front knee to be bent. From here, try not to change the angle of the knee. Good. We're going to lengthen. I'm pressing back to that back foot. I'm into that front heel. I'm going to take it down, planting the hands, swiveling up the back foot, front foot steps back. You too. Take or skip a flow. Good. Repeating that on the other side. Right leg's going to lift three points. Bending that knee, round the spine as you can as you step or pick up and put the right foot forward between the hands. Warrior prepping the left side. And once you're strong and stable, good. We'll rise. Warrior one on this side. Front hip will come back. Hip, knee, and toe trek. So if your foot is not far enough forward, when you look down, you won't be able to see that front toe. So that's a sign. It's strong through the back edge of the back foot. Breathe here, return to intention. And then once you're ready, good, without changing the angle of that front knee, lengthen, 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 taking those hands down, swiveling up the back foot, front foot steps back, you choose, take or skip a flow. Take a couple big breaths here in your downward facing dog. And when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. We're going to sit back into that chair. Find your feet, find your legs. Are you hip width apart? Are you together? Be where you need to be. And then pressing through, zipping up that front body, reaching. You can stay here. You can open that chest and shoulders just a little bit. Little back bend here. All right. And exhale, hands to prayer. We are going to take that sun salute B, and we're going to add some things onto it after we take warrior one. So from here, once you're ready, big inhale and reach. Sitting back into that chair again. Finding your foot and leg position that's um, accessible or best for your body. I'm breathing. My shoulders are relaxed. I feel my heels connected. I feel my glutes connected. Inhale, exhale, and we'll take. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, take a bow. Inhale. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Good. From your down dog when you're ready, left leg lifts three points, bending that knee, rounding, stepping or picking up and putting that left foot forward between the hands. Good. Find your lane. Warrior press. And once you're ready, good. Rise, finding that warrior one. Front hip will come back. Strong through the back edge. Keeping that front body zipped up. Now from here, we're going to reach forward. So just like we did before, before, it's a hip hinge. Try not to change the angle in that knee. We're going to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Hands are going to come to the inside of that foot. You can bring your blocks with you if you need to. 
I'm gonna bring one block with me and we're gonna walk around. Now we're in a wide leg forward fold. So check your feet here. You want your big toes to be in alignment so one foot's not forward of the other. Hips, knees, and toes are tracking forward. And we're pressing through the outer edges of the feet. So hands on blocks are to the floor, lengthening that torso. You can stay right here, or you can turn your elbows forward and bending elbows straight back. Now, some of you might be able to touch the floor here with the head. Um, I'm bringing my block in here for that. But you want a long back, shoulders away from the ears. And pressing through those outer edges of the feet. We're trying not to collapse the inner arches. And then from here, when you're ready, good, we're going to come up from there. Toes, knees, and hips are going to turn out away from the body. So it's an external rotation. Good. We're going to bend the knees. Just kind of rock side to side here. Keep your whole foot on the floor as you rock side to side. But hips, knees, and toes are tracking in that same direction. Good. Now, from here, when you're ready, back to center, knees are bent. I'm going to take my hands to my thighs and come up from here. Now, I'm in a goddess squat. Sunrise slope. Big inhale and reach. Exhale, coming down. And reach. And exhale, coming down. And reach. And exhale, coming down. Hands to the thighs. We're going to take the right shoulder in. Reaching, breathing, coming back to center, left shoulder comes in, breathing, coming back to center, press through the feet one more time, inhale and reach, exhale, take that down to the goddess squat, hands to the thigh, coming forward, Hands to the floor. Good. Now from here, turn your feet back. Parallel hip width apart, or wider than hip width apart. Going forward. Take your blocks with you if you took them. We're going to walk that back around, framing that left foot, swiveling up the back foot. Now we're going to be in a parallel railroad track pyramid position. So I, my whole foot is down here. Good. I'm going to lengthen that front leg. I'm lengthening my torso. My left hip is back, my right hip is forward, so my hips are squared off. My back heel is not grounded. So from here, you can stay if this is what you need. Otherwise, walk your hands can come more forward, ears by the bicep. Breathing. And once you're ready, good, I'm going to bring my hands or blocks back in. Good. I'm going to put a bend back in that front knee, planning the hand, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. And I'm just going to switch sides here. Now from your downward facing dog, when you're ready, right leg's going to lift three point, bending that knee, rounding, step or pick up and put. The right foot forward between the hands. Make sure it's far enough forward. Warrior prepping that left side. Strong as we rise. Front hip will come back. Zip up that front body. Strong to the back edge of the back foot. Last warrior one on the side. Last warrior one of this practice. Make it your best one. This is my weaker side, so I have to really fight for this one to be my best one. And then from here, making sure you're nice and zipped up, trying not to change the angle of the knee as you come forward. Hands are gonna come on the inside of that foot. You know what we're doing now. Bring a block with you if you need one. I don't think I need one on the side. I'm gonna walk my hands around. You're back in wide leg forward fold. Good. So again, making sure your toes are even. Hips, knees, and toes are pressing forward. You're pressing through the outer edges of the feet. For this one, you can do exactly what you did before. You can take elbows back. Maybe you want to take um, the hands forward, reaching behind. Maybe you want to take yogi shin or a yogi toe here. So find yours, trying to keep a long spine. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathing.
And once you're ready, if you took any grips, we'll come back to center and lifting up into wide-legged table. Toes, knees, and hips are gonna turn out again. Good, bending the knees, and we're gonna rock side to side once more. This time, if you wanna rock on the heel, you can. Good. And then coming back, good, bending the knees, hands to the thigh, good. And we'll press up. Nice sunrise flow again. Coming all the way up. Hips, knees, and toes are always tracking in that direction. Press through the heels. Press through the balls of the feet when you return. Good. And then we'll come back down. We're going to get that shoulder opener again. So hands to the thigh. Let's take left side first this time. Coming in. And back to center. Right side. And coming back, pressing up and reach. Exhale, coming down, hands to the thighs. Lean forward, hands to the floor. Turn your feet back parallel. And then when you're ready, good. We're gonna walk that back around. Good, so we're going to that right side. Good, find your blocks if you're gonna use them for this pyramid. Otherwise, sit for your parallel railroad track. Back heel doesn't ground. Right hip comes back. Left hip comes forward, lengthening. Good. This might be all you do today. Or if you've got more depth than that right hamstring, maybe hands and blocks can reach forward. Ears by the bicep. And then from here, good, hands are blocks. They're gonna come back in. I'm gonna put a bend in that front knee. Good, now I can move my blocks forward. Plant the hands, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. From downward facing dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward, bend the knee, walk. Step or hop your feet forward to meet your hand. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll fold. Bending the knees, coming back into the chair. So finishing up this set. Make it a good chair. And then from here when you're ready, pressing through, coming up, zipping up, reaching, or maybe opening here. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain intention. So we're gonna flow to the floor here for a moment. We're gonna do a few things down there before um, we come back up and do our balance. We'll make the balance just a little bit better. So from here, big inhale and reach. Exhale and fold. Bending knees always as need to. Coming to blocks as needed. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Good. And then from here, looking forward, bending the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands and coming to a seat. So as you come to a seat, we're going to come to a seated forward fold. A seated forward fold. So my legs are forward. They can be together. They can be a little bit wider. Watch your feet here. Make sure they're not doing some kind of internal rotation thing um, at the ankle. You want them flat like you're standing on the wall in front of you and toes pointing towards your face. You've got a strap today. If you know you can't touch the feet, um, you can always bring that strap in. Big inhale and lift. Exhale. Lengthen. And then you're going to choose where you go from here. If you need to keep a long spine, you'll just bring your arms down. Otherwise, you can completely fold in. I want the long spine today because it stretches my back in a way that feels a little bit better to me today than the rounded back. So if you're trying to get a long spine but you aren't quite sure, think about taking your chest a little bit more forward. That'll bring you a little bit more length. And then from here, once you're ready, good. We're gonna come back up. 
we're going to come onto our back. And we're going to do a figure four here. But since we're on the back, if it would feel good to you right now to kind of rock side to side, let your body get what it needs. And then once you're ready, right, going into figure four. So I'm going to cross the left ankle over the right knee. For some of you, just being here, just kind of lightly pressing into the thigh, press the thigh, nothing to joint, um, is all you will need. Others, maybe you can bring it in towards the chest. Others are going to thread it through here. So find yours, upper body stays grounded. Point the right toes towards the right knee, left toes towards the left knee. It's okay to rock here if you like to rock your figure four. And then from here, we'll gently release. And then we're going to take that to the other side. So right ankle crosses over that left knee. Good. Again, you can stay right here. You can bring it into the chest. You can thread it through. Find what you need. Breathe. And then once you're ready, good, we'll gently release and come out of here. Now, if rolling like a ball is not for you, roll over to your side and come to a seat for a moment. If rolling like the ball is okay for you, you can cross the ankles and we'll go one, two, three, and four. Find your balance, find your balance, good. If you're still balancing, Everybody now can take this right into a Navasana pose. So legs can be long, they can be bent. You can hold on with the hands like I'm doing. You can release, you can take hands behind you, but you want a nice long back here. Belly button is in, shoulders are grounded. Could you be here even in both hip bones? I have a tendency to veer more towards the left. So I have to really work to stay center. And then from here, cross the leg. Coming forward, cleaning the hands, stepping back, find your downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. From down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, roll bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath. Mountain intention. All right, let's get into that balance. So our balance today is gonna to be kind of a figure four chair for the lower body, an eagle arm wrap for the upper body. So you can always step off your mat onto a harder surface that'll be a little bit more stable. You can always do this up against a wall. Um, if balance is not really good today and you need that. So from here, when you're ready, I'm gonna start on my left leg today. Hip, knee, and toe track forward. Good. I'm just going to find a little bit of a squat. I'm going to lean into the left side. I'm going to pick up my right ankle, taking that there. Be stable here. Remember, it's okay to hold on to the leg here if you need to. Otherwise, arms out. Right arm on top of the left. You can wrap or you can hug yourself. Find what you need. Breathing. Belly button is in. This is why we did the figure four first. So you were already a little bit open. Good. And we'll come out of there. Maybe not quite as fast as I did. We'll take that down. This is actually a really hard balance challenge for me. But, you know, if we don't practice it, then we can't improve. Practice makes progress. All right. Hips, knees, and toes of that right foot. Track forward. Good, find the little squat. Left ankle is gonna come up. Good. Remember, you can be here, you can hold on. Arms can come to the side. Left arm crosses over the right. You can wrap, you can hug. I think I said that 
opposite on both sides, but you know what I mean. Breathing. Two more breaths if we can. And then when you're ready, good, we'll undo. Coming all the way up, exhale, hands in the heart center. Let's go to the floor and stay down there. So from the top of your mat, big inhale and reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. Take or skip the last flow of this class. And then once you're ready, we're going to drop to the knees. Find a child pose here. The knees can be as wide as the mat or somewhere in between or together. Arms can be long in front of you. Find your child pose. You can also take hands back by the ankle. And once you're ready, hands under the shoulder, and we'll come back up to the seat. So from here, we're going to take a John Yu Sirsasana, and I'm going to bring my blanket back under my hip. Yeah, I'll scoot back a little bit. Okay, so from here, we're going to take the left leg forward first, left leg forward first, right foot's going to come in, and we're going to keep this gentle today. There's different versions of this. We're going to keep this a little bit more gentle. Good. So make sure your foot is flat. Like you're standing on the wall in front of you. So none of this internal um, funny business here. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, you can always bring in a strap here if you cannot reach the foot. And then I'm going to lengthen with a nice long spine. I'll take that down. You can stay there. You can fold in. For me, I can take my right hand and grab my left wrist. That's not accessible to everybody, though. So you just kind of take it where you can take it. Breathe. And then once you're ready, good, we'll release. We'll carefully come up. So from here, um, we're going to come into a cobbler's pose variation. So I'm going to take the soles of my feet together here. And on this first time we do it, I'm going to turn to the side so you can kind of see my back and what it's doing a little bit um, when we go into this one. So from here, careful that your heels are not too close um, to the groin. I'm sitting up nice and tall, and I'm zipped up through the front body. Good. Inhale, I'm going to lift. Exhale, I'm going to hinge forward, and I'm going to pause right here. Okay? So I'm still opening my hips. I'm opening that inner thigh. I'm getting a nice little core challenge here because I'm working the muscles of both my back and my front. So hold me. You might notice that the knees just kind of fall down a little bit here when you're here. And then I'll come back up. Good. And we're going to do that all to the other side. So now <clears throat> your right leg's going to come forward. Left foot's going to come in. Point those toes towards the face. Make sure that foot is flat. Zipping up. Big inhale and reach. Exhale. Come forward first with the long spine. You can stay here. Then you can fold in. You can grab opposite wrist. It'll be the left grabbing the right. You can bring your strap in here or just go where you can go. And once you're ready, good, we'll release and we'll come back up. We're going to do a second cobbler's pose here. So bringing those feet back together. 
Remember, not too close into the groin. We're starting with a nice pulse spine. Big inhale and reach. Exhale, lean forward into the hover. Nice long back. Big inhale. Relaxing the shoulders, always coming back to breath. And once you're ready, we'll come back up, bring those feet back in. We're going to come onto our back. For this one is where um, I wanted you to have a block. Now, if you don't have a block, but you do have a blanket, kind of fold it this way and then fold it again, just like that. And then that will kind of simulate um, a block for you, that same length or width. Height, height is the word I'm looking for, the same height. So as you come onto your back with your block, if your body wants you to rock side to side, you can do that. If it wants you to bring the knees into the chest for a moment, um, then do that. Follow what your body needs you to do. Now, from here, I'm going to bring my feet back in line with the hips. You've got two options for your block. So you've got this bottom option here, or you've got this option. Why these two? Because on these two options, then you've got the SI joint and your tailbone all having support. If you put it this way, then it's primarily just the tailbone with support, and it puts a lot of pressure on those SI joints, and they won't feel really good later. So it's not about how high can you get your hips up into a bridge. It's where you're supporting it because we are doing a supported bridge, okay? So this way or this way, okay? So once you're ready, good. Rolling the shoulders back, pressing into the feet and shoulders, lifting the hips, good. Find your support. You're gonna put it right under the tailbone, okay? With that folded blanket if you've got that. And just kind of roll the shoulders back here and you can just be here. For a few breaths, a gentle inversion. I'll give you a different option here in a moment. Now, options for other people. If this feels great and you want to stay here, stay here. If you want to change the height of your block now to either the lowest or this middle setting, you can do that here. This next one will not be appropriate for all bodies. But if you're going to take it, make sure you're zipped up nice and tight, and you're going to reach your legs a little bit longer here. So you're getting a little bit more of a stretch right through here. If any funny business occurs in the back, um, as a result of that, bring your knees back in. And from here, we will take the knees back in if you took the legs long. Pressing into the feet and the shoulders, lifting up, removing your block or blanket, and we'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side to side. For our final twist, we're going to take this into an eagle leg twist. So arms are going to come to the side. Good. Press into the feet, lift the hips, shift the hips over to the left, cross left leg over right leg. There might be some of you out there that can completely wrap this foot around. I'm not one of those people, but if you can, go for it. Otherwise, we're going to let those knees drop towards the right, looking to the left. Now, if this bothers your knees or something like that, you can always undo the wrap and just stack the legs. And once you're ready, Bringing those legs back in the center in the best way for you. We'll undo, press into the feet, take the hips back to center, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just a little bit of a reset. And then once you're ready, pressing into the feet, lifting the hips, shift those hips over to the right, crossing right leg over the left. And then we're just gonna drop those knees over to the left and maybe look to the right, breathe and expand. And you can always come out of the wrap and stack the legs here if you need to do that. Still getting a good twist. And we'll bring those knees back into center. Undo the cross, press into the feet, bring the hips back to center, 
and wiggle, 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 or knees into the chest. From here, we're going to go into Shavasana. So I'm going to reach down and grab my blanket because I love me a good neck pillow. And then you can let everything come long and flop open. You can keep a bend in the knees. You can be on your side, you can be on your belly, you can bring any props in here that your body needs. And then see if you can make yourself about 10% more comfortable. And I will leave you here for a few short moments, sinking in and returning to your intention. Taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness or gently take head and neck from side to side. Maybe inviting movement of fingers and toes. Choose stillness or bring knees into the chest. Choosing to keep the upper body grounded or maybe you want to lift it up, finding a full body hug. And then choosing stillness, removing any props out of the way that you may have used during your spots in the time. Taking arms long behind you, legs long in front of you. And as you reach in length, then finding that full body stretch, pointing and flexing through the feet, bending and stretching through the hands, twirling wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And then bending in both knees, and you choose rolling over to your right or left side, the side that works best for your body in this moment, taking all the time that you need here. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Your shoulders and hips in alignment as best as you can. Palms turning up, inhale and lift, touching palms together. As you bring those hands down, stop those thumbs right in front of the forehead for good and true thoughts to the lips for good and kind words, and to the heart, for open and loving heart. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted, no gain is ever reversed. May you be safe, may you stay well, may you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, season ahead. Thank you so much, namaste.